Whenever people talk about XSplit, they're usually referring to one of two programs. Yes, there are two XSplit programs. Well, well, technically there's at least four programs under the XSplit name, but only two that are streaming programs. Two XSplits, two splits of the X, they have Gamecaster and Broadcaster. These two programs are targeted at the same end result functionality, uh, you know, live streaming to your favorite streaming site or recording videos, but they go about them with very different approaches. In this episode, let's discuss differences between the two and how you can decide which is best for you. You ever look at the Elgato Stream Deck and think, man, I wish I could have all of that power in the palm of my hands. Well, now you can. Install the app on iOS or Android, connect your Stream Deck software on PC, and start setting up your program launchers, CPU monitors, button to control your key lights, and stream scene switching, all within minutes. It doesn't get much easier than this. Try it free with the link in the video description. I'm Evils Vox, your stream professor, and welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass. This is part of a bigger course wherein I have many, many videos at this point helping you learn and use both XSplit Gamecaster and XSplit Broadcaster, so check the playlist in the video description to learn more and probably answer most questions that you probably have. I said probably twice. As mentioned, XSplit offers two different programs for you to live stream with. Gamecaster is a great tool specifically for gamers who want to share their moments in the most convenient way possible. That sounded pretty good because I'm actually coding their website here, they put it quite nicely. Whereas Broadcaster is much more advanced and is a more broader live streaming tool for streams that aren't necessarily gaming, though they can still be used for gaming. To decide which of these programs to use, you need to consider which workflow is most important for you. If you want to utilize features like an in-game overlay or have a super quick and easy streaming setup, Gamecaster is probably better. But if you don't mind using a second monitor or having a weaker overlay or streaming or just aren't streaming games at all, Broadcaster is a better tool. Some features exclusive or at least semi-exclusive to Gamecaster include an in-game HUD overlay to access stream controls, overlay chats, and view stream stats. This is technically in Broadcaster now, but it's not as refined or developed. You can natively integrate your stream messaging into sites like Player.me and other gaming sites. They're super quick setup designed exclusively for games. Meanwhile, Broadcaster has some cool exclusive features such as Stinger transition support and a favorite transitions system, making managing many transitions easier for you know big events. There's a presentation packager, which makes it easy to move your full streaming configuration between PCs for traveling to events. Agato Stream Deck plugins for seamless native integration of you know macro controls of, over your software, plus advanced uses like playing out individual scenes, sources, or the live preview to NDI over the network or to a projector mode uh, output video to another display. And there's a whole plugin store to add more extensions and control over, you know, per scene audio, an advanced audio mixer, import scenes from OBS, automatic scene switching, a lot of functionality. Now, Broadcaster does actually have an in-game overlay, as I mentioned, but it seems to be new and it's not as feature-packed or optimized as Gamecasters, but I guess they're trying to keep some degree of feature parity. Overall, Broadcaster is meant to be a more complete but also modular streaming solution for much more advanced streaming scenarios, such as esports events, local sports events, or just massive multi scene setups, or even talk shows. While Gamecaster is designed to just let you hit the ground running as quickly as possible to game stream. My cats are now wrestling. Both apps are great for their intended use cases, and instead of competing against each other, they kind of target both different use cases but also different requirement levels. Broadcaster, in some ways, can be seen as an upgrade path from Gamecaster. But at the same time, you could have an entire streaming career without ever leaving Gamecaster and just relying on its gaming-specific features, and that's totally fine too. With this comparison and decision-making process out of the way, it's time to dive into the second half of this course, which is where I show you how to use XSplit Broadcaster. I've been showing you how to use Gamecaster for the first half, so if you're just jumping in here and want to go find that out, Playlist link in the video description. Thanks for watching this episode of my XSplit Masterclass. Get subscribed for more tech education and stream guides. Maybe hit the like button and consider sharing this course with a friend if you know they need streaming help. A lot of people do. That's what I'm here for. I'm Evil Socks. I'll see you next time.